Hello, everyone. Today was a tough pill to swallow. So I'm going to get this trade breakdown video out of the way early because, man, it was frustrating. Performance wasn't the best. Anyway, um, <laughs> it was a break-even day, um, as you guys, if you watch the stream. So it was a patient building day, character building day. Had to exercise a lot of patience, and then it was pretty much all for zip. <laughs> so anyway, let's... Um, Let's reassess what happened because there was such an opportunity missed and it's kind of kind of annoyed, you know, and we're going to have days like this. Not every day is gravy, but yeah, this one was a tough one. Anyway, let's um, let's have a look at it. Okay, so boom. We didn't have much news today. We had unemployment figures um, here. We had unemployment figures for US dollar. At 1.30, but we were doing the London Open. Um, one thing that I had to consider was it was probably one of the most anticipated earnings releases that I can remember for a long time. And that was the NVIDIA earnings um, expectations. One of the biggest companies in the world, especially with their growth. I think they're up like some like, 300% or something like that since the start of the year or since this AI bubble. Anyway, what they decided to do was announce their earnings at 9.30 p.m. UK time, which is 4.30 p.m. Uh, New York time. So this is like 30 minutes after the New York Stock Exchange had closed. And I don't know why, but I got caught up in the hype of it. And yeah, I really, I really kind of confused what happened but anyway they released it and there were pro there, i had a, I had a selling bias and they released the there was whispers that the earnings were going to come in under expectations so they were expecting to have they were expected to report two dollars 18 per share profit which is like billions and billions of dollars and there were whispers that they were going to come in underneath the earnings, which was two dollars thirteen. So even like it's a small miss point, you know, five cents, but that's that equates to a lot of money. Anyway, they came out and they apparently beat ex uh, beat earnings, and this like this all stock all indices had a big kick at this time. You can see the time here. Look at the time. 9.20. Well, okay, they released it um slightly early. 9.20. But have a look here. Look at look at look at NAS here, nine twenty. Look at UK one hundred. Even UK one hundred, nine twenty. US five hundred, nine twenty. US thirty. Dow, not as much of a um as a jump on the US thirty. Um, it's not listed on the US thirty on the Dow. But the same thing with with here with with um the DAX, and. I was I was actually bearish, and then price pushed up bullish with um with Asian session again, like fairly high volume. And I did everything. I felt like I did everything right in terms of um doing my zones and all these gray zones. You'll see if I push over to the left, I'll go to the higher time frame because they were drawn in the higher time frame. Um, let me just cut off this so this top one okay this top one was to do with this candle and this candle so this was the zone i don't like this zone too much um because these candles were formed in asian session but i did like that they were they were near the highs of this um clean range that we had what i preferred was this middle one here which was from the top of this wick to the um Oh, I made a little mistake. That should be to the open, not the close. So unless unless I was looking at this on the 15 minute, or maybe it was on the 15. Nope, nope, it was the 30. I made, made a little boo-boo there. So that should be to here. It should be to there. So wick to the open. Now, the third one was this area. And this this, I believe, was in a lower time frame. This was oh it was it was the hour candle. Where was it? 
Ne yapalım? Two hour candle, sorry. Two hours. This kind of candle here. It was like nice and strong and bullish. Um, using like this wick. What I was expecting was price to push up into one of these zones and then actually push down. But I was really looking for one of these zones to like, I was looking for that push up to be a certain height. And then once we made a high to retest that high, there was a doji here as well. So this is another point of interest on the, on the two hour chart. Now, if I go to the back to, back to where we were, there was a lot of volume, a lot of hype and straight out of the blocks, straight out of the blocks, we saw that in the very first minute, price does basically explode. Okay, very first minute of the London Open. Okay, see this one? At 0800. Price rallied from here up. So 40 pips straight up and then pushed up and made a high. And see how price had stopped and it didn't quite complete my zone. So I was thinking that what I was expecting was I thought that we could have potentially made our way to the top of these like clean candles that were over here to the left. Let me just show you. I'll just compress the time a little bit so it's a little bit easier to to see here. Okay. So I thought that once we had broken into this area, I thought that we could at least go to to match this candle. Even though I had my zones drawn here, I really was expecting this to do of like a wick fill. Okay, a wick fill and then push up into the zone and then fall away. That's what I was sort of predicting. So I needed to wait for price to sort of settle because I don't like to take this breakout, especially when it was, let me just go to five minutes and make it my life a whole lot easier. So when we had this breakout here and price pushed straight up, what often will happen is we'll retest the bottom of that area and then we can we can um go to retest that high again it feels like it's like it's like a news there was comments today and they were exactly right that it felt like a news event um with this candle so i pushed up and then often when you see news especially like cpi what it'll do is it make its way back down and it'll sweep the lows sweep the base of that candle and then we can push up and then like retest this high and that's what I was, that's the idea that I had. So I had to wait re very patiently for this because I thought we hadn't quite made the high of the day. Price came back down. I didn't want to take anything here. So I wanted to wait to price to really slow down. And I was really looking for this area to be tested. And one thing that I wanted to see was a candle that would move quite rapidly down like a one a very fast one minute candle that could like trigger buy uh, sorry sell limits sell stops and then i thought once those sell stops had been triggered price would then push up to like another liquidity area and those people that entered those cells would just be in a world of pain that didn't work out so anyway price ranged here for about an hour Okay, so 8.20, you can see, to about 9.10. And this fast candle, this fast candle happened. Yeah, this is the this is the one minute candle. So this was that acceleration that happened. So 18 pips in, in about a minute. And I thought, yeah, you know what? This is just like a, this is a trick. This is a trap. So I wanted to wait for candle to close bullish for me in my direction and then I'll let it retest and then push up. So that was the idea. So I put the order in and it was more or less like that. It was more or less like, no, I think it might be a little bit deeper. I think I might've popped it underneath this, this support area. Okay. So price, once we had this little bit of support, confirmation of support, just wanted to see a retest and then price push up. 
So Price did the retest, and then started the push up. And I was thinking, you know, beauty, we've, we've got this good. Price was up one to one. And at that point, I was saying, well, no matter what, if you're up one to one, don't let this trade hurt your feelings. Don't let it become a losing trade. So I was really hopeful and I was actually quite confident that we're going to retest these highs. Price then just, you know, at this point, I was like, fantastic. <laughs> it's like, this is, this is easy. Anyway, didn't close anything. Didn't take any partials, nothing. I really thought that we might just pull back a little bit and then we're looking good, looking Gucci. Unfortunately, this candle was the close of the 30 minute, this one here. And then as soon as that one closed, the 30 minute closed like this. So just a really sucky candle to close a doji. So as soon as we got a doji like this, I just I really wanted to close bullish. If it closed bullish, I'd have been happy. But as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, you know what? I think this kind of just seals the deal that we just don't have that momentum. So definitely, definitely in terms of trade management, don't don't let that one now, you know, don't let it take a loss on it. So price came back down. Okay. Touched this area. So let me go back one candle. Because this is how I managed it. Price touched my entry and I really just had to say, well, I don't want to move my stop loss to break even. When I when I say don't let it hurt your feelings, I don't want it to move to break even because I've been stopped out by a little wick many times and then price just keeps on going. So it's a soft stop loss that I put in here. As soon as it gets touched and price reacts, then I put my stop loss just underneath it. So if it breaks the low of this candle, then um, you know, I'm not interested. So next candle then stop me out. So it was basically a break even. Then price just absolutely died. <sighs> and it's just such a shame, man, because the second trade I was looking at, I'd even planned that if we could have closed above here, I would have been scaling into this this bad boy. Um, anywho, so when I look back at this. Our, the PMI figures from yesterday, from Thursday, sorry, Wednesday, the 23rd, they were negative. Like there was zero growth in, in, in the Eurozone. And I just got swayed by, by the NVIDIA earnings at bullish Asian session, bullish Euro session, and thinking that we were going to do something similar to um, what we'd seen previously and like quite a few times where London session was very bullish, very bullish. And then we see the correction come in the New York session. So that was what I was kind of planning on. But it just, it literally did a liquidity grab up here and then just absolutely fell. Now, when I look at this, look, look at it, man, it's just a, just hard to see. Just hard to see because this is such a missed opportunity. And I didn't even lose, but I still feel like I just didn't perform. Like I really should have expected this. Um, when I look back at this now, and I was having a little peekaboo at the weekly chart, and look at look look at where this this touched. So you know, I'll, I do like opening prices where candles open or close. Either either one of those are key data points. Now let me just put in a thick black line at the top of this. No, I will just do a thick purple line. Okay, this thick purple line represents the high where we went. Look at where it was in the weekly chart. So this is what kind of hurts is, is that we pushed up very impulsively into this weekly, weekly candle wick. That's, that's a, there's a lot of liquidity inside, inside of this wick. So just a dangerous area to be in. Okay. If I put in the open of that candle, of this weekly candle, you can see across here, it's just a sensitive zone. So when we go and have a look at now, when I look in hindsight, that's something that I probably should have been aware of. Anyway, that's what the beauty of these videos is, are, and going back and having a look at, at your performance each day, see where you could have improved. What well, like I should have just stuck true to my bias that um I was looking for sales, just like I was looking for sales here, just got caught up in the hype of this NVIDIA thing. So um 
I guess this is a bit of an honesty session. <laughs> Not every day is uh, roses, but, um, you know, we've just got to come back and keep do keep doing the same thing each day and the consistency pays off. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're watching this for the first time, check out the other trade breakdowns. I'm doing the live London streams pretty much every day. Um, trying to capture as many pips, pips as we can. Join the Discord. It's in the disc. It's in the uh, the details below, and yeah, give it a thumbs up. Show some love to this. It really does help. So thanks everyone. Tune in another time. Bye bye.